Our feet are a miracle of natural engineering, containing a quarter of all the bones in the human body. Here come the girl, 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 girl. Cram them into unnatural positions like this, and you're asking for trouble. Like one in three women, flight attendant Deborah Baker suffers from bunions, ugly outgrowths caused when the big toe drifts or is squeezed inwards. I work for a major UK-based airline, so you do have to wear a certain style of, of shoe, a leather court shoe, and even the widest, still your bunion moulds the shoe effectively. That's what makes the discomfort, you know, there is a reddening here and the bone hurts, predominantly when you've been on your feet for a long period of time. It just looks <laughs> ridiculous. Our feet contain over 33 separate joints, primed to carry us three and a half times around the world in a lifetime. Bunions develop when this, the first metatarsophalangeal joint, gets pushed out of alignment. Back to happiness. Bunions run in Deborah's family. People like her with long second toes and loose ligaments are particularly prone. These electronic footprints show the problem is now so severe that it's throwing her whole body off balance. This foot's more unstable. It rolls in after the foot hits the ground. And in fact, she's not able to use her toes to push off from the ground. She's just pushing off from the ball of the foot. And that tends to cause problems in that area. And that can lead to clawing and hammering of the toes. Left untreated, Deborah's toes are beginning to buckle and bunch. Because of your occupation, you're on your feet for long periods and your feet tend to swell up when you're flying. I think in your case, I would advise you to see a surgeon, possibly consider having surgery for your bunion. Wow. Traditionally, surgical bunion removal, a bunionectomy, is rather uh, <coughs> robust, often involving breaking the toe and screwing it back into place. <laughs> But foot specialist David Redfern is pioneering a new technique on the NHS that damages less tissue and causes less trauma. When we do the surgery, the idea is to realign the bones, mm -hmm. moving that bone across, and then taking a little wedge of bone out from here and kinking the big toe straight as well, so that hopefully we end up with something that is straight. Amazingly, this surgery will only involve four tiny keyhole incisions, each barely the width of a lead pencil. The main difference uh, with the keyhole surgery is that you're hopefully performing very similar cuts to that which we do with the open surgery, but with less disturbance of the soft tissue. So we see that there's less scarring and the soft tissues settle very rapidly. Instead of a surgical saw, he'll be using a small high-speed drill, first developed for facial reconstructions. One of the problems, of course, if you're making a keyhole is that you can't see what you're doing. So we have an X-ray system in theatre that allows me to see what I'm doing in real time. State of the art this operation may be, but Deborah's big toe still has to be broken to manoeuvre it back into place. OK, and that's us free. You can now actually appreciate that the bone's moving now. Two wires like fishing rods are used to lever Deborah's toe straight. The toe is fixed into alignment with two tiny titanium screws that her bone will grow around. It's taken less than half an hour. So uh, there's the finished product. There's her new foot. That will all shrink down, so she'll end up with a toe, as you can see, that's a lot straighter. Very happy, and hopefully she will be too. Deborah has to wear a protective shoe for six weeks, but within days of surgery, she's pain-free. Let's look at your x-rays. Have you seen how it looks now? This is what it was before. Yes, that huge so divide. It's this angle here. Now? What angle? That's amazing. 